Good evening, and welcome to another Mugo Museum Mint Off Card. Today's experiment is the <laughs> probably the most popular character that's been produced by Mugo uh, in the first wave, especially, and that is the Bella Lugosi as Dracula. Um, as much as there has been a lot of monster figures in the last 30 years, we 70s children especially are not used to getting something that actually looks like Bela Lugosi and this is due to the fact that Bela's son, Bela Jr., was a very smart lawyer and cracked down on companies profiting from his dad's likeness as Dracula. So we were met with a lot of generic Draculas and I'll uh, put up a little slideshow of some of those faces over the years. Um, so this is kind of nice. Uh, the, the only time I think anyone did an 8-inch Bela Lugosi was Flat World in the 1990s. And of course that figure was $69.95 20 years ago. So to get a $14.95 Bella that looks as good as this is a pretty exciting thing. There is a lot of rumors and chains rattling that there are more universal style monsters in the works at Mego. And I'm a monster junkie. I'm excited. Bella was one of the first ones I was like, give me that. So let's crack him open from his plastic tomb and see what he's all about. So... Before I begin decarding Dracula, I just thought I'd point out this little detail and set up an assembly line of generic 70s Draculas. I thought that'd be kind of fun. This is, of course, uh, Lincoln Dracula from Lincoln International. This is the Mego Dracula, uh, the current Mego Dracula, and of course the A.H.I. Azrak Hamway Count Dracula. <clears throat> None of these dudes look like Bela Lugosi. Uh, some, for obvious you know reasons, they didn't have the license, but even even AHI, which is an official world's famous super monsters, didn't have the likeness rights. Um, the other detail I want to point out, and I don't, this is very clever, is the coloration on these two packaging kind of matches the Dracula, which I think is a nice detail, and it may be one of the reasons that I really gravitated towards this. Uh, the last thing I want to point out, and I just found this out the other day, is uh, Bela Lugosi was sculpted by Sean Sansom, who's a good friend of mine, and he's a he's a movie FX artist. Uh, Sean has done a bunch of notable figures, including many of the MC monsters, like the Creature from the Black Lagoon, Phantom of the Opera, and, and the Dracula they did in that series, ironically. As well, he has worked for Biff Bang Pow, and of course, he made figures for my company, including... Uh, Brick Mantooth and the Mega Museum Super Collector, which of course is the same sculpt. So I'm I'm really happy to see his work again, especially on the uh, Mi new Mego Corp. I, I believe he also did the Jimi Hendrix. So there he is. Um, in a nutshell, he's real nice. This is a very nice cape. It's plush on the outside. Uh, I don't know if you, can, you can't feel that, but trust me, it, it's nice to touch. Dracula has sculpted hands. Those aren't the regular Mego hands. It's a beautiful outfit that fits very nice. And uh, this is a nice little touch. These are the Mego Dracula shoes from the uh, Mad Monsters Dracula reproduced. The likeness is great. I'm totally over the moon on this one. I think this is a really great figure and no wonder people are snapping this up like crazy. It is a, it's a winner and I can't wait for more monsters. I am a monster kid and I think I'm not alone. What do you think of uh, Dracula? Let me know on our Facebook page, our forum, or on Twitter at Mego Museum. Uh, let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of this video. Thanks for all your feedback and kind words and your support. Very grateful for it. Until I talk to you next time, buy what you like.